Hey guys, MTG Girl here. Today I'm going to open up all the Tyrants packs here. We've got one of each, so we're going to take a look at all these cards in detail. Um, the Tyrants packs here are the first expansion packs uh, that White Wizard Games has put out for Epic, the card game. Um, so each of these packs are totally not random. In fact, they have on the back of each of them it lists exactly which cards are in the packs. So if you're doing like a full constructed, uh, you don't have to go and buy three of all of these. You can just buy three of the packs that you need for, for your set. So, um, so you've all seen my playthrough video where we play with the tyrants. And now I'm actually gonna open them up and take a close look at all of them. Uh, when we did the playthrough, we shuffled them together with the base pack and then dealt out from there for four players. So there were some Tyrants cards that we definitely did not see. So I'm pretty excited to see some of these because I haven't seen all of these in play or even at all. So let's start off with the one on the right here. We've got Hellion's Deceit. Set these aside. Okay. There we go. So in this pack, we're going to be finding 13 cards. Hellion the Dominator, Hellion's Fury, Royal Escort, Raxa's Curse, Reaper, Dark Offering, Ankylosaurus, Brachiosaurus, I love the dinosaurs, the Great Horned Lizard, Vanishing, Rabble Rouser, Second Wind, and New Token. So there's exclusive, well not really exclusive, um, new art, alternate art for those tokens. So, more tokens, yay, more tokens. Um, can never have enough of those. I just like having a big stack of tokens available. So, let's see, what do we got in there? Okay. And nice, the card on top is the same art as the card on the pack. Okay, so we have Hellion the Dominator. So there's a blue card going to cost your gold. It's got Ambush, because we see these little dots at the top. And it's a champion, because we've got those wings at the top. Sage Human Tyrant Champion. All right, pretty big guy, 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, loyalty 2, you can gain control of target champion this turn. It gains Blitz this turn. Uh, so that you do have to give that, that champion back at the end of the turn, but not bad uh, for coming out on your opponent's turn, you can grab the uh, grab their champions that they might have been attacking you with. That's pretty cool. And you can expend it to deal two damage to each of up to two targets. That's pretty nasty to put out against someone, uh, especially on their turn when they're about to swing at you. Let's see, so we've got Hellion's Fury. So it looks like these are just in the exact order that they were listed on the pack here. Again, your gold, this is just an event. Uh, you draw two cards, or if it's your turn, return up to two target champions to their owner's hand and draw a card. Very nice. Okay, Royal Escort. Another champion with ambush here that costs your gold. This one's yellow or gold or whatever they're calling it. Um, the good, good faction. Here we go. Ambush, uh, tribute, and or. The um, ally ability here, gain three health. Nice one uh, to get more of that good health gain going on. And, oh, I loved this card. I just love this card in the playthrough. Um, when I got this out, put a huge target in my back, but so worth it. Um, your champions that are not Royal Escort are untargetable. So he's the one they got to take out, but, after, but every one of your other champions... So you're playing a lot of good, and you've got a whole lot of those little human tokens. Um, if you're playing a token generating deck, this is going to make them all untargetable. Okay, Rax's Curse. Free card event, an evil event, evil demon tyrant event. And you got a demon token to play, and then you break a free, another uh, zero cost champion. Or you can draw two cards. So Reaper, <laughs> evil demon champion. So no ambush on this one. I'm going to cost your gold for 7-9. Tribute and or that faction ability. Uh, you get to break a cha another champion. 
and if you do they get a demon so you know a little trade-off there that's you know for getting out this big creature and that the extra bonus you could be putting out um, you could be putting out a lot of those demons let's say you've got some crappy things you could replace them with demons or just getting rid of your opponents uh, big scary things okay dark offering Oh, this is, that's pretty creepy art there. Uh, it's an event, and it's going to cost you your gold to draw two cards, or you could break a gold champion. So here we had to break a zero cost. Here we could break anything. This one's going to break a gold cost champion that you control. And if you do, you break up to two target champions. So sacrifice, sacrificing your champions to get some of those other champions broken. That's dark. All right, our dinosaurs. Here we go. Here's Ankylosaurus. He's free and he's adorable. Look at that little face. Oh, he's so cute. Um, so he's a wild dinosaur champion. Seven seven with breakthrough, and to prove if you pay a gold, uh, you can draw a card. So you could get him out for free, or you could pay gold, get him out, and draw a card. Nice. And Brachiosaurus. Um, another adorable little dinosaur here, <laughs> and he's facing, like, looks like a bunch of, uh, of those human tokens down there. Gonna cost you your gold, it was an 812 of breakthrough, but also you gain your gold back at the, um, after you play him, you gain your gold back, but you can use it only to play wild cards and powers. And so there's a little debate here whether or not the Brachiosaurus is gold can be used for the Ankylosaurus. Um, I think not, but maybe someone else can weigh in more official than me on that ruling. Because um, that's, that's, that'd be a pretty cool little combo here. But I don't think it works that way because it's not really a power. This is more of a triggered, you know, triggered result. So I don't think it's a power or a card. All right, but Brachiosaurus, super cool. And then the Great Horned Lizard another dinosaur looking thing here. I don't know why they didn't just call it like a triceratops or whatever it's actually called. It's not a triceratops, got more than three horns. Anyway, <laughs> another champion with ambush, blitz, and breakthrough gonna cost your gold for a pretty decent size here, seven, eight. And your dinosaur champions get plus three, plus three this turn. Can we say Dinosaur deck. Yes, I will build that. That is amazing. Love the dinosaurs. <laughs> Alright, so for free event, it's your turn. Your target champion, target champion to its owner's hand or draw two cards. So, um, not bad for free. Little, little vanishing there. The rabble rouser are good. Uh, good card here. Cost your gold human champion with blitz. 5-5. Five, five, and expend you put a human token into play, then you double your human tokens. So there's a lot of other uh, good cards that can get out those human tokens. You can pretty quickly, exponentially, be getting out a human army. Um, so you're going to need those extra tokens with that one. Okay, second wind, a free event. You gain five health and recycle. So pretty good. And here's our, um, here's our token. This is our new demon token and the human token nice looking a more action-y uh, the other human tokens are kind of just sitting by like here I'm a knight I'm standing guard this guy is like leaping into action I like this one pretty cool and creepy little demon so there we go that is the Hellions Deceit pack along to the next pack here We've got Draka's Rage. So in this pack, we've got uh, 13 new cards. Draka's Dragon Tyrant, Draka's Fire, Shadow Imp, Necrovirus, Zelo Zealous <laughs> Necromancer, Heinous Feast, Wolf's Bite, Lesson Learned, Misguide Herald, Insurgency, Blind Faith, Noble Martyr, and we've got the new Wolf slash Zombie token. So the Dargothian Mountains may seem completely wild and untamed, but Draka reigns supreme there. Those who don't submit to his rule risk a fiery death from above. So pretty cool. Okay, so let's break open this little dragony pack. 
And uh, let's see what we got in here. And then again, we've got the cover art card on top. So we've got the Dragon Tyrant. All right. So Draka here is going to cost you your gold. It is a Tyrant Champion. 9 9 Airborne. Nasty, nasty Airborne. All right. Loyalty 2 gains Blitz. <laughs> so, wow. Okay. Um, when it attacks, you deal three damage to each of the defending cha player's champions. <laughs> Breathe fire from above. That is gross. That is so gross. Blitz. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I definitely need some target quick removal. Uh -huh. <laughs> Playing against these dragons. Here we go. Does Draka's Fire deal five damage to each champion and player? So that does include your own. Uh, dragons aren't very picky about who they're breathing their fire down on. So, uh, you know, you want to watch out for that one. Uh, or if it's your turn, you could deal five damage to each opposing champion and draw a card. So, you know, um, I guess they're taking their time on your turn, so they're a little more particular. I'm, I'm stretching for theme here. Okay, so that's an event, cost your gold. Pretty nasty. And only two, two new green cards in this whole pack. Oh, there, no? Yeah. Okay. So we've got Shadow Imp. It's going to be free with the Ambush Little Champion. Uh, his Sage, 2-3. Ambush Blitz and Unblockable. And then for this ability here, you can return it. Uh, to your hand from play. So pretty nifty. Play that down first, get your attacks out, and then put down another champion to return it from your hand. Return it to your hand so he's uh, no longer a target. Pretty nice. Okay, uh, Necrovirus, little evil event, zombie event. Break target champion. Each player puts a zombie token into play. You can see we've got one of our human champions here has obviously contracted uh, some sort of zombie virus. Um, pretty gross. <laughs> so, and, f and this one's got gray text. So you can play it from your graveyard or your discard pile. Um, so there's that, that faction ability. You can banish this card from your discard pile. If you do, you get three zombie tokens into play. So, nice little evil token generator there. The Zealous Necromancer, uh, evil human champion with ambush. When it comes out, you get to draw a card. When another non-zombie champion is broken, uh, if this card is still in play, put a zombie token into play. So that doesn't that doesn't necessarily have to be your your champions that get broken. Any 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 <laughs> champion out, um, you could get a whole lot of zombies out that way. Um, gross. All right, heinous feast. Talking about gross. We've got some vampires going on here. You gain one health for each champion card in target player's discard pile. Then you banish the discard pile. This one got played against me. Uh, it shut down the rest of my game. I, I had no cards in my hand and no cards in my discard pile. Um, so this is pretty a good way to get rid of someone's uh, card that keeps recurring. Just banish their whole discard pile. Uh, or you could just draw two cards. But for free, I mean, why would you not use that ability? Why would you use it to draw cards? Unless you're really in dire straits. Okay, so Wolf Spite here, another free event. Put a Wolf Token into play, and you get two damage to target. Champion and Recycle. That's a lot for free. That is a whole lot for free. Okay. <laughs> and let's see, lesson learned. We've got Dumbledore here. Cost your gold. Sage event. Draw two cards. Uh, you can play an event from your discard pile without paying its cost, then banish it and this card. That's pretty cool, because Sage's got a lot of events going on, and they don't all have... It's really hard to recall or, you know, get to play them again, so this is going to do some work for you in the, when you're playing your Sage decks. Misguide Herald. This one's so pretty. I just I love the art on this one. Um, we got our Fairy Champion here. Uh, we've actually got a male champ, male fairy. Very cool. Uh, one gold here is airborne. Cause look at those wings. Of course he's airborne. I was only a three-two, but he's airborne. And tribute, you get to get the top five cards from your deck, 
you reveal them, then you choose a champion from them and put into play, but you have to banish the rest. Um, so yeah, you're not gonna you know, get rid of cards from your deck to draw out that way, but you're gonna get a champion into play. So it costs your gold, but you could possibly get two gold champions out that way. All right, Insurgency costs your gold for a good event. Four human tokens, you know, uh, just just four. And then let's say you go on, then play the Rabble Rouser. Oh, now you've got ten. <laughs> whole lot of whole lot of human tokens. Um, oh, and the game Blitz, Unbreakable, and plus one this turn. That'd be super super nasty. Um, of course, those both cost you gold, so you're not getting them one turn, but eventually that's pretty nasty. You could play the, you know, play the, um, you could play the Rabble Rouser on your turn, because it doesn't have Ambush, and then on your opponent's turn, put down an Insurgency. That'd be just a really nasty token generating combo right there. Okay, so now we have Blind Faith, another free event. Um, each opposing champion, they lose all their powers and abilities, <laughs> and then you get to recycle. So any of those keywords, um, any of those, you know, any any of those keywords would just go away. So that's that's pretty nasty. All right, noble martyr, uh, gold champion here. It's blitz and unbanishable, so not untargetable, but you can't use. So you could still destroy it. You could target destroy it, but you can't target banish it. Um, and for the faction ability, you can banish this card from your discard pile. If you do, you put five human tokens into play. So, kind of unbanishable. It can banish itself, I suppose. <laughs> Someone else can't force to banish it. Uh, for 7-4, so, but you can also get more of those tokens out. And there's our token, our new token here, the wolf token. Nasty, mean-looking wolf. He's really upset. And again, another zombie. Look at that zombie. Yeah, these are these tokens are a lot more action. Um, the art is like they're they're much more animated in these ones. Nice. Okay. We've got the next pack here, Marcus's Command. Uh, we've got so Marcus here in the front. This is a little good good card in the pack. We've got. Marcus Watch Captain, Quell, Peros Rebel Ma Leader, Reap or So, Hands from Below, the Gudgeon, Draca's Enforcer, so Draca was from this pack, so we've got more cards for him, it looks like. Uh, Battle Cry, Lightning Strike, Arcane Research, Temporal Shift, Elara Like Romancer, and we've got a new Zombie Wolf token. Uh, I think it's got to be the same art as this one. I can't imagine the all that much more art for these. Okay, so let's get this open. And here is Marcus, the watch captain here on top. All right, so he's a good human tire champion. Cost your gold, 10-10. Uh, if you would make you discard it, you put it into play instead. So a nice way to get a free champion out uh, on your opponent's turn, possibly. Uh, tribute, you can banish up to three target token champions. <laughs> so they make you discard a card. Oh, too bad. Now I'm going to banish three of your tokens. <laughs> and loyalty to draw a card. Crazy stuff going on here. That's a lot. All right. Uh, I wonder who's, who is this in his wanted poster? I don't know. I'll have to keep an eye out for that face. All right. Quell is a good event. Cost your gold. But you get to banish all free champions draw a card, and I'm pretty sure that would include tokens. I um, have to check up on that, but since they don't cost you your gold, I imagine tokens are considered zero cost. All right, or if it's your turn, you get to banish all one cost champions, so those bigger, nastier ones, uh, you can get rid of those. But it does say um, all, so your tokens and your creatures, your champions are not exempt from this. All right, oh, there he is. <laughs> That's definitely Paris, the rebel leader. No wonder why Marcus is uh, searching for him. Looks like a pretty hefty reward on his head. Because um, he's the rebel leader. He's a good human champion. And your other human champions have one attack. 
Doesn't give them any extra defense though. And when he comes out or for the faction ability, you get to put a human token into play. All right, reap or so. Uh, one cost evil zombie event, put four zombie tokens into play. Or if it's your turn, you can break all champions. So you either get stuff or you destroy it all, reap or so. There we go, hands from below, a free evil zombie event, deal four damage to each attacking champion without airborne. It's going to be kind of hard for the zombies to grab airborne creatures from below. That is so gross. So creepy. Oh, it's poor Minotaur. Uh, you put two zombie tokens into play, expended, so they're not going to be able to um, block or any. Well, yeah, they're not going to be able to block, but, you know, they're too tired. Zombies have limited resources. All right, the Gudgeon. Uh, one gold cost here is unblockable. And you get to draw two cards when he comes out, and you are untargetable. Nice to get that out. No one can force you to discard your cards. It can't, you know, deal damage to you. Nice to give a player uh, untargetable. Oh, the Draco's Enforcer. Uh, ambush, gold cost champion here. Oh, he's got Airborne too, obviously. Well, it's a two draw card. There you go. 7-7 seven, seven Airborne. Not bad. Battle Cry is more of our poor human champions have been turned. Um, and he's like, I don't know what's going on with this. They're like all green. All right. So we've got a wild event. Your champions gain breakthrough and plus three and plus three defense this turn. Or uh, if it's an opponent's turn, you will draw two cards. Nice. So, I mean, they're not, the breakthrough is not going to do too much um, if you're using those to defend with, but you can draw two cards as compensation for not using that breakthrough. Lightning Strike, deal five damage to target champion, or draw two cards for free. Not bad. Arcane Research, another free Sage event. You banish this card and any number of cards from your discard pile, and if you, for each card that you banished, you reveal a card from the top of your deck, you put one to your hand and you banish the rest. So you get to kind of go searching through your deck a bit. Um, pretty, pretty useful. All right, temporal shift. Cost your gold for your, this event. Return a champion to its owner's hand and they banish a card from their hand. All right, draw a card. So if they've got an empty hand and you banish, you return that target champion to their hand and they have to banish that one. So that's not fun. And you get to draw a card. So pretty, pretty hefty event there to be able to play. All right, Alara the Lyromancer. What's Lyro? Oh, probably the wolves here. She's a mage champion. Loyal to two Blitz tribute. You get a wolf token into play. So that's pretty cool. Cro little cross faction going on. The sage putting out uh, wolf tokens. And if you expend terror, you can transform target champion into a wolf. Okay, so either a way to buff up something else that you've got going on or uh, eliminate a threat from the other side. And there's that wolf token that she brings out. Yep, same one that we had from the other pack. The last pack here, we've got Rax's Revenge. Nasty little demon here on the top. Um, here we go. We've in this pack. There's Rox's Demon Tyrant, Rox's Displeasure, Spawning Demon, Smash and Burn, Fire Spirit, Feeding Frenzy, Fumble. <laughs> A lot of F cards there. Uh, Knight of Shadows, Temporal Enforcer, Forced Exile, Revolt, Urgent Messengers, and we've got a new Demon Human Token, which is probably what we had back here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this one open. And here he is on the top, Raxa, the Demon Tyrant. All right, so... So Raxa here is a one-cost evil Demon Tyrant champion. He's a 6-6, six, six, loyal to two, deal two damage to each opposing champion. Nice. All right, and tribute, you get to put some demons into play, and those demons get plus two and plus two while he's in play. 
very, very cool. Like the, you know, demon, uh, <laughs> little tribal demon going on. So here's our next demon tyrant event. It's gonna cost your gold to draw two cards, or you can break all non-demon champions. There we go. Uh, definitely a lot of these cards seem to be going more towards those tribal decks um, where you focus your deck on a certain type of card, a certain, you know, demon or dinosaur or dragon or human tokens. So uh, pretty cool. I like, I like working with uh, tribal decks, so that'll be fun. All right, here's a free evil demon champion. He's got ambush. 4-4, uh, four, four, and ooh, whenever you play a red gold cost card, you can pay a health to put a demon token into play. Check out, we've got the Wonder Twins here. <laughs> Making uh, demons. Cool. Alright. Smash and burn a gold cost wild dragon event to give a target champion plus 5 plus 5 this turn. So say you're a big flyer who's getting unblocked. Give him plus 5 plus 5, and you draw two cards. That's sweet. Usually the cost for drawing two cards is a gold, and you're also getting to pump something up for that gold. So, now we've got, from your discard pile, when you pay a gold for a wild card, you can banish this from your discard pile to do six damage to a target champion. That's, that's a nice little bonus there. I like having options from your discard pile. Um, so that's pretty, pretty good there. Alright, we've got our gold cost wild champion here, wild spirit champion. Tribute, you get to draw a card, and when you pay one gold for your green, your faction ability here, deal four damage to target champion. A lot of different types of champions we're seeing here, um, not just the ones we started with. Um, I'm wondering if in the future we're gonna get to deal more with these different types, um, similarly to you know what we've got dealing with demons at the beginning of the pack here, if we're gonna start seeing other um, other types being acknowledged across the cards. So that'll be pretty exciting to see as this game really flushes out with more expansions and more cards. Okay, a free event. If it's your turn, just break a target damage champion. So you went, went in swinging and just got a little pinged. It didn't, you know, the creature didn't die from blocking. You can finish the job. <laughs> the raptors come in for the kill. Um, little pack mentality. Or you could pay that gold to draw two cards. There we go. Fumble, a free cost event. Target champion gets minus 10 attack this turn. So they got their big thing coming in swinging. Maybe it's got some of that breakthrough. Just cut it down to size. <laughs> and you get to recycle. Uh, or you can pay gold to draw two cards. So nice to have cards with options. Um, it really hurts not to be able to draw extra cards. Uh, as this game goes on, your, your hand gets kind of thin and you're really gonna wanna have that extra draw available to you. All right, so the Knight of Shadows costs you one. He's unblockable for nine. That's pretty good. Um, he's got a pretty weak defense here, but he's unblockable. He doesn't really need a huge defense. All right, when it comes out, you get to draw a card and your opponents discard a card. So again, having that hand of cards is really important, so causing them to discard is pretty nasty. Uh, especially, you know, some of the other Sage events can cause people to discard cards, so combo that up and really get the cards out of your opponent's hands so they have less options. All right, we've got a champion here with Ambush again. 6-4, cost your gold, loyal to 2-2. Two, two return a champion to its owner's hand, and then for the faction ability, you can return a free champion to its owner's hand. We have Forced Exile here, a gold cost event, good to draw two cards, or Banish Target Champion, and the player whose turn it is puts two human tokens into play. <laughs> oh, this is so sad. Um, all right, Forced Exile. So mean. All right, uh, Revolt, a free good event. You get a human token to play. It's got Blitz this turn, and it's going to get plus two because all your good champions are going to get plus two this turn. Uh, or you can just draw two cards. And then we've got the Urgent Messengers, a gold cost good event. Draw two cards and to put two human tokens into play. So a nice little bonus. Um, not so much of the options there, but there we go. Okay, so that's 
the last card there besides our token, our human token, good human token champion. Your orders, my liege. There we go. I, pretty cool. I'm not sure I like this demon more than some of the other demons we've seen. This is definitely a superior human token. All right. So there you have it. That's all of the cards in the Tyrant's expansion packs, all four packs, every card in detail. Uh, so down to what I think about these, this expansion on uh, these packs. Uh, I've heard a lot of complaints about the price point that they think uh, five bucks for 13 cards is just crazy, it's ridiculous, and who would pay that much? Because to get three of every card, then you're going to pay 60 bucks. Well, <laughs> um, I mean, what you're getting in these packs, you know, these are designed to look a lot like a TCG booster pack where you're getting random cards. Um, you know, in magic packs you get 15 cards, this is 13 cards, okay, you get two less cards, but really in a booster pack, in a magic booster pack, you're, you're not getting 15 cards because there's a token, there's a throwaway card, there's a land that you're never going to use. Um, so the, the price point is on par, maybe a little tiny bit more expensive than those booster packs. But to balance that off, <laughs> you know exactly the cards you're getting. The list is right here on the, pa on the back. Um, so you're not buying tons of packs in hope to get the one card that you want or a few cards that you want. Um, you know exactly what you're getting. There's no mystery. There's no, and there's no collectible aspect. Um, you know, I can see there being a bit of a trade market now with the Tyrant's expansions for people who want to build their constructed deck but maybe they only want one or two cards from this pack or that pack. I can certainly see people starting to trade cards. I'm not sure what kind of a value system would be established. Um, I think it would be perfectly reasonable just do a trade one card for one card or maybe a gold cost for a gold cost or rare gem for a rare gem. That seems reasonable since there's not actually any rarity to any of these cards and so, I mean, that seems like a pretty reasonable way to go about it. Um, so I think that the price point is just on curve with other similar games, especially the, the type of games that they're trying to compare themselves with, and I think they really, really excel at that. Um, you know, especially, <laughs> you get the base game for $15. I mean, really, guys, there's, how much can you complain? You get so much play out of one little tiny box for $15. Um, so, yeah, you're not getting as many cards per price point, but I think they're, you have to, I mean, these guys, they got to make a living, too. And, you, you know, I really, I just do not see the complaint um, for the price point. It seems completely reasonable. Um, so that brings me to the gameplay. What do I think about the gameplay? These cards really flesh out the factions, I feel. Um, it brings a lot more options for if you want to build your cube for drafting, if you want to just do you know, a, a regular draft, a dark draft. Um, I really enjoyed doing that and it made it feel a lot more like a TCG where you're not sure which cards are going to be in the draft this time. Um, you know, you're not going to see every card in the set so you, it brings a lot more guesswork. You're not going to be able to track exactly every card at the table and think, oh, well, now I know someone out there has this card. Well, you're not sure. So I think that brings a lot to it. And as far as constructed play, it really brings a lot more depth to the factions. There's, these factions have a lot more interesting interactions and you're able to build a much more refined deck that does uh, what you want it to do with the colors you want to do it with. Um, so I think there, it's a fantastic expansion for that, and I'm really looking forward to seeing even more expansions. Um, there's, I think there's a lot of possibility for this game to really grow and grow and become, um, you know, a real, a real contender at the tabletop. Uh, so thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, then let me know. A little thumbs up. Greatly appreciate seeing those. And if you've stumbled upon my channel for the first time here, or maybe it's your second or third, please consider clicking that little subscribe button. Uh, you'll get alerted to when I do more unboxing videos. 
I've also started to do these uh, gameplay videos, playthrough videos. We get alerted to that. So look forward to seeing you around later. Bye!